Hello and welcome to my second tutorial. Uh, now this tutorial will give you a lot of more, a lot of freedom uh, with what you can do with the workshop. Um, so it's gonna be a lot, lot nicer. Um, so I'm gonna teach you pretty much to do the same thing before, but you have more control on when or where. So let's say, for example, that I'm doing some behind the scenes uh, puzzle. Uh, I want to keep Jansen to speak, but I don't want him to speak immediately because the player still has to get through some uh, long hallways until the puzzle. And I don't use an elevator to exit, so I want the raid window to come before. Um, and, uh, well, so let's do that. Uh, first thing first, you need to have the global PTI end instance. Uh, I just learned that recently. Um, if you don't have that, you cannot upload the map to the workshop. Uh, so even if you don't, uh, if you have it to zero or something, just make sure you have it, or you're gonna get an error and you won't be able to publish. So let's go look at it and uh, global PTI entities apply. Now this tutorial is going to be a lot uh, shorter. Let me close Skype. Um, this tutorial is going to be shorter than before uh, probably because of that so now what we want is uh, I don't want Cape Johnson to start speaking immediately so I'm going to give it a value of 1 to disable it and I'm gonna name it so I'm gonna give it a name uh, global no I'm just gonna give it PTI and give it a name put that somewhere in your level maybe preferably when it's not covering your view and uh, we, I don't want it to get uh, shoved in the middle of these leaves I'm just uh, putting it there and uh, so okay so let's have first the trigger where it's going to go where we're going to activate it and uh, it's gonna be somewhere here maybe a little bit behind there there Control T, make it a trigger once. Gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna put the light board now because it's a broken test chamber behind the scenes. It's just being built or something. Uh, I'm not going to align it, uh, so I'm gonna put it a little bit uh, crooked in a way. So let's find the same instance as before. Info sign SP. I really recommend putting the light bulbs just because they have a nice touch and they're so easy to place now. Uh, like all the work is done for you already. So now I will usually put it somewhere there, but now I'm just going to crook it a little bit more. So it looks more interesting, more more broken, something. <laughs> Not sure, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, you could add some cables if you want to just like it looks it's hanging up. I'm gonna show you one example of that that I did in some of my maps. And uh, so we need to give it a name. So we can call it out info no lightboard, it's a good name. Um okay so first thing we're gonna trigger the lightboard. Oh sorry on start touch lightboard via this input we're going to oh wait sorry that's wrong I'm, I don't know what I'm thinking um, instance and it's going to fill itself up and I'm going to put some delay because even though the cave Johnson line starts immediately it has some delay to give some time for the player to come up into the elevator which is why I kinda push it a little bit behind so um, so it kinda happens when the players almost going to into the room um, so now I'm gonna call out uh, Cape Johnson now I disabled it in the first uh, at the beginning so it doesn't start automatically but I can call it when I want to so I'm gonna make a new output and well what do I do I don't know the actual uh, trigger so instead of just spending out the output to you and how you need to remember, I will show you how you can just notice. You go to do the PTI entities, and then you find this little thingy, 
and you see here that it, it's the one that controls the uh, it's the one that controls the audio for Cave Janson and it has this output so you can just copy it close that do not save and then just paste it here oh I got a, a little bit of a bug here when the window is not responding anymore I'm just gonna restart hammer quickly I'm gonna save sorry about this uh, I'll be back immediately okay um, I relaunched hammer and uh, you're gonna go to outputs uh, delete this empty one and paste it uh, and you're just gonna change the output name to onstar touch and just leave it like that and it's gonna run okay uh, if you want to memorize it you can do that too uh, but again you need to have the PTI entities because once the workshop will not accept the map and it contains that GLaDOS entity inside of it uh, now we're going to put the little exit um, the RAID window at the end so I'm just gonna copy this trigger at, out here and I will make it uh, delete all of this gonna add on start touch PTI entities and one thing we can go look into the inst to the instance and look at the output but I'm gonna go ahead and just do instance relay uh, PTI level end it's right there all done for me and uh, that's basically it uh, something I should mention is uh, there is a limit to how many Cape Johnson lines so uh, you can play in a in a level in a map actually um, you can only play one Cape Johnson line per map uh, so if you try to do this and copy it uh, it will play the same line again uh, and that's the way the workshop works because it's going to go it's always going to load the same line for Cape Johnson I, imagine it puts a number into the map and every time you launch the map it's going to check that number and play uh, the perspective line <coughs> sorry and play the perspective line for it okay so now I'm just going to compile and upload to the workshop I'm gonna show you again how to upload to the workshop just in case um, so I'm just going to compile quickly run the map go and in the meantime I'm just going to load in case you forgot this uh, common then it's a uh, portal 2 but for me because I'm in the beta it's uh, this one and in portal 2 you're going to go bin b to my publish I'm just going to close this window everything is fine there are no leaks and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to edit this one for now. You can just press add and it's going to be the same window anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and browse then come on portal 2 portal 2 maps and you go back down it's tutorial test test free tutorial and hopefully this tutorial will give you a lot of more freedom with what you can do in Hammer rather than having just elevators all the time um, so now I'm just going to close this window and Hammer and uh, ooh, there are updates uh, anyways I'm gonna pause the video okay so it's done loading and uh, I already have it subscribed so I'm just gonna close and I will see you in the game okay so here we are in the game community play community and uh, test freedom <coughs> it's gonna load again I reset my progress against you just going to hear the same line than before but uh, if you're up ahead in the storyline you're gonna hear the, the the line that you should be hearing at that time so here we go Welcome, test subject. It's Cave Prime from Earth One. I am speaking to you from across time and space. I am literally in the future. I. So it works. We get the uh, 17 out of 17 because it was in my. Uh, at the end of the queue. Uh, now. Uh, oh, yeah, it's uh, the light board. Uh, 
sorry, when they when the map uh, when when they when uh, I'm sorry when the DLC comes out, uh, you can edit this instance so you can have a back uh, sorry a backwards uh, like some texture on the back so it doesn't look invisible uh, or you can collapse it that can work too. Um, Anyway, so now to see the rate window, and here we are, the rate window. I already booted it up. Um, now this will give you a lot of freedom. I will show you one example where I use this. Um, so I will load that up. I'm going to exit to the queue, and uh, it's uh, it's landed bridge. Move to my queue, and uh, yeah, it's landed bridge is a good example. Uh, not gonna show you the uh what do you call I'm not going to show you I'm not going to show you the the solution to the puzzle though um so I'm just going to reset again my progress so I don't spoil anything slanted bridge play it's gonna load I'll pause it okay, so in this map. You don't have the standard elevator, and I used, uh, and I have the Cape Johnson lens playing along with uh, the light board in a funky way. I think it looks pretty pleasant, uh, and it's an example of what you can do with what I showed you guys. So you can have more, and more creative freedom with this. Welcome, test subject. It's Cave Prime from Earth One. I am speaking to you from across time and space. I am literally in the future. I hold up. All right, get to it. Okay, so you can see now I don't have elevators, and uh, I put some cables behind and uh, painted the texture, and uh, it looks pretty neat. I think uh, it kind of it offers a different feel now. It's still aperture, but it, it gives some. Uh, it, it feels different, and it it. it Brings uh, it stays in the player's mind. Uh, I could probably have centered that more, but I think it's good. Uh, you can see it puts the name along with uh, it detects some uh, elements in the map automatically. So now I'm just going to no clip to the end. Uh, switch it. One, no clip, and uh, at the end of the map you get here. I'm going to spoil the solution for you. Uh, Sorry for any lag again, uh, and you just walk through it and you get the the raid window. I, I could have probably put on that a little bit lower after the tube. Uh, I might modify that later, but again, you can just do whatever you want pretty much now with this with this tutorial. So I hope you I hope you can put this uh, give some great uses for this, and uh, I hope this tutorial helps. Thank you.